Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for returning. If this is your very first time clicking on my video, hello, welcome to my channel. Here on this channel we're talking all things budgeting and I am showcasing my journey to becoming debt free. For today's video it will be a cash envelope stuffing and we will be working with my paycheck for May 8th. So let's just go ahead and get right into it. Okay, so we are back at our budget breakdown paper and I'm just going to go right ahead and fill in the amounts. So, first thing is rent, and we are stuffing for next month's rent. So, that will be the first half, which will be $613. Next is my Heartland, that's due on the 10th, and that's a minimum payment of $40. Then we have our Apple Music, that's coming out on the 13th, and that's $10. Dental minimum amount is $28, and gas we're going to give $30. So when you total up all of my expenses, that comes to a total of $721. Now we're moving on to our cash envelopes. I did add some more things, so that's why it looks like a little bit more. So. Now we're going to be stuffing for the second half of the car payment, and that's going to be $89, so that can be fully funded. Then my car insurance is due on the 25th. The first half I'm going to stuff today, and that will be $106. Next is my Great Lakes for my student loan. The first half that we're stuffing today is going to be $132. Then we're moving on to spending. That will be $30 for the next two weeks. Groceries is going to be $75. Toiletries will be $25. And clothing is going to get $20. So that comes to a total of $477 for my cash envelopes. Moving on to the sinking funds, car maintenance is going to get its usual $20. Christmas is the same at $20. Gifts is $10. Medical is $10. So that comes to a total of $60 for my sinking funds. Now we will be doing an extra debt payment. I did already take out um, the portion of this paycheck that I'm putting towards my emergency fund, so I'm not going to list it here for savings. But I am happy to announce that for our extra debt payment, we're working on this dental for the month. We're trying to pay it off. So towards my, toward my dental payment, we're going to be able to make an extra debt payment of $338. So savings is blank. I still want to keep a rollover of $5 in my account just for like a buffer. So the total that we're going to withdraw from the bank today for our cash envelopes is going to be this $47 plus this $60 for our sinking funds plus this for our debt snowball or extra debt payment. And that comes to a total of $875. All right, so that's the breakdown for my first paycheck. I'm just gonna go run to the bank, get the cash, and then we can stuff our envelopes. Okay, I am back from the bank. The money is all laid out. I have my binder for my sinking funds. These are my cash envelopes that I keep in the house all the time. And these, I am excited. I got cash dividers that I think are so cute. And they're labeled with the money that I carry around in my wallet all the time. And I'm so excited to use them. They're so cute. So let's get started. I am going to put these to the side and put these to the side first. And we'll start with these envelopes. So first is car payment. That is getting $89. So 50, 70, 85. Seven, eight, 50, 70, 85, 86, and 
so this should complete the car payment my car payment is 178 a month so that's what we should have in here just organize it all right so 100 40 50 60 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 178. Great, so I can make this payment this weekend probably and pay that off. Next we have car insurance. That is going to be $106 that we're stuffing for the first half. So 106. My dollar is so flimsy. Next is Great Lakes, and that's getting 132. 20, 30, 31, 32. 30, 31, 32. Now we can get into my cash dividers. So for spending, we said $30. So spending, we get the first 30. Next is groceries. Groceries is getting 75. I'm gonna do it in 20s. 60, 70, 75. Two, four, six, seventy, seventy-five. That's for groceries. Toiletries is getting twenty-five. So that goes with this. Clothing is getting twenty. That goes there. And these two, eating out, I don't stuff eating out because honestly, I don't eat out like that. I literally only eat out if there's somebody's birthday. So if I know somebody's birthday is coming up for the month, I will stuff it. But normally it gets nothing. And then miscellaneous is mainly like if I buy something online and I want to put the money back that I know is going back to be deposited in my account, I will put this here. But other than that... These are so cute. I'll just put this in my wallet. I think this is so cute. So happy about that. All right. Now let's get into our sinking funds. So first we have car maintenance and that is getting $20. Next is Christmas. Christmas is also getting 20. Next will be gifts. Gifts is getting $10. Medical, $10. Vacation is not getting stuffed. And then the exciting part, our debt snowball. I'm so proud of this. Like I never thought after paying all my bills, I would have 300 extra dollars to put aside. So let's make sure it should be 338. So one, two, three, 20, 30, 35, 36, 37, 38. $338 going into debt snowball. So at the end of the month, we'll see how much we accumulated for our debt snowball and put it towards debt. I am so, so happy. Like, this is relaxing. So this is the end of my first paycheck for cash stuffing for the month of May. Um, be sure to like, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment. Let me know how you guys are doing so far with your budgeting for the month. And I will see you all next time in my next video. Bye.